I've been an artist all of my life. My passion is art, but I love being in a business partnership as well. I had considered going to real estate. My mom's been an agent since I was 15. And met Ned and he said, you know, it might come a time where you'll be working in a gallery and doing real estate as well. Ned's idea was to merge gallery with real estate. Part gallery, part office. The integration of two seemingly separate worlds has put the team at Coastal Properties Group in some uncharted waters, and they'd have it no other way. Doubling as a curator and agency administrator, no one embraces and embodies the spirit of the venture more than Sherry Rubeck. Every month during the summer, she handpicks artists for a showing and reception at the office, accompanied by drinks and live music. These events just don't put artists on display. They're a showcase of the team's unique business model itself. People come in and they talk about art and they're comfortable and they feel like they're talking about something that's enjoyable and eventually it can lead to discussions about real estate, property, personal lives. So it's a really good way to meet people in the community in a relaxed way, a creative way. You get to know people, you know, we talk and, and it's just a lot of fun. It's not like in your face real estate. It, they're more relaxed here. When they come in there, they see the view, they sit there. It's a very relaxing atmosphere. And you try to make it as less stressful for people as possible because it's not easy when people are home. To, you know, you're going to be spending how many other years if you want to live in that. But you're so different, and, and, you, and you, you have to be different today. You know, there's just so much competition. You just have to just try to think outside the box. I think that's been our goal, just to become more of a resource center, provide lots of different things, make people feel comfortable, events that tie us into the community and set us apart from, you know, lots of real estate companies. People like creative marketing. You know, a lot of us kind of live in boxes, so it's great to get out and be different, do it differently, and people appreciate that. Located along the scenic Wickford Harbor, the small, historic town serves as the perfect backdrop for the monthly parties and the perfect home for a team specializing in waterfront properties. But on this particular July evening, the neighborhood has put the group in a position they're not used to, fitting right in with the crowd, thanks to the annual Wickford Art Fest. This started in 1962, so it's the oldest festival in, in New England of its kind. It's a very artsy little town. It closes a little early, 8 o'clock at night. You know, it's very it's a tight community. It's, it's so quaint, but yet it's, you know, it's historic. It's really pretty, pretty unique. People love Wickford because it is a really special place. It, it has a really awesome vibe. When we moved here 12 years ago, and I was so worried about our move, when we stepped into Wickford, just washed with feeling that everything was gonna be okay. And I think people are just drawn to the, the view and the, just the people, everybody's friendly, the small shops. It's just got a really great vibe. It's a place where brush meets canvas, where fingers meet fretboard, and where a community comes together to meet a real estate team unlike any other. And while they may have shaken up the traditional view of what a real estate team typically is, the bigger picture is just starting to come together. I think it'll grow in ways that we don't fully see yet. We're starting to get some really nice press in Art New England. We keep building our base of artists and homes and clients who like creative marketing. So who knows where it's gonna go. Great team, great people, art, who knows?